Hi, I'm Jared Novotny, a solutions architect and OpenShift specialist with Red Hat. And today I'm joined by Tyler from IBM. Hey Jared, thanks for having me. I'm Tyler Stanzak, a customer success manager at IBM. I help our clients modernize Java and Web3 applications with Red Hat OpenShift and container-based architecture. Today we're gonna to be walking you through the deployment of a traditional Web3 application using OpenShift pipelines. Jared and I scanned the application we're gonna deploy with Transformation Advisor to generate a migration bundle that lets us deploy the application without any code changes. OpenShift pipelines allow us to build our application with an automated and consistent pipeline. Here's the mod resorts application we're gonna be deploying on OpenShift. It's a simple front-end application that's deployed on WebSphere and used for booking resort reservations. All right, let's get started with our demo. The first thing we need to do is create a project that we're gonna use as our workspace. So I'm already logged into the cluster. All right, now let's take a look at our pipeline files. The pipeline files we have here were generated for us by IBM Transformation Advisor, and we'll use these to define our build and deploy pipeline process. The pipeline here depends on the Docker file to define the instruction set for building container. Let's take a look at the Docker file in GitHub, Jared. So on the left, we have the Docker file that was generated by Transformation Advisor, which expects to build our container with the application artifact in a war format. Jared and I, however, decided we wanted to build this application from source code directly. So we made a few modifications, as you can see on the right, which is the new Docker file. The pipelines provided by TA are very flexible and can be customized to suit your needs. Let's go ahead and import our pipeline files now, which will build and run our pipeline. Now we can go into the UI and watch the pipeline's progress. Here we can see some pipeline details that define each task that's gonna run as part of the pipeline. You can see how one of the first tasks we have is to clone the application repository. Then that's followed by building the application, applying some application manifests, and then updating those manifests. Towards the right, you can see that the tasks are structured in two different ways. Two of them are cluster tasks and the other are just normal tasks. What that means is the OpenShift pipelines operator is allowing us to leverage out of the box cluster tasks, as well as a couple that Transformation Advisor has defined on its own. Let's go ahead and take a more detailed look at the pipeline run. So here we can see the status is running and we have a task status here, which shows us the tasks that have already run, the tasks that's currently running, and then how many tasks we have left. So we can drill down even further and here we can see the clone repo is already finished. We can see the build application is in progress. We can drill down even further in the logs to get a step-by-step -step view of what's going on. So we can see here we're in the middle of our Maven build. So let's go ahead and come back in a little bit when that's done. All right, our pipeline is finished running, which means our application is built and deployed. And the whole process end to end only took about six minutes. So let's go ahead and take a look at our app. Gonna go ahead and grab the route here. Our context root is resorts. And here we go, here's our front end. In summary, now we have our traditional WebSphere application running on OpenShift without any modifications to the source code. We've also created a reusable consistent method for building and deploying our application by using OpenShift pipelines and Transformation Advisor. For our contact information or links to any of the tools used in this video, check the description below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our demo.